Welcome to another vlog, guys. I am headed to the airport. We are going out of town for a few days. I dropped myself to the airport and I just parked there because I leave like an hour and a half from the airport and when I come back, it's gonna be a school day. And Upcoming traffic ahead due to a hazard. Okay, why they have traffic on Saturday? I'm trying to make my flight, don't star. Anyway guys, I'll catch you guys later at the airport. Okay, so we are currently seven minutes away from the airport, actually from the parking, because I park and then the shuttle takes me to my terminal. And it's two, what time is it? 2.07 arrival time is two, it's now 2.08. I'm supposed to get there at 2.14. And from my experience with the shuttle, I'm probably gonna get there at like 2.30. My flight is at 3.45. This is the first time in like 20 years. I always manage to get to the airport two hours early, three hours if I'm flying internationally. I was supposed to be here at this at 1.45. Uh, be at the airport at 1.45. So this is the first time. And I always hear about people like missing their flights. This is crazy, like I'm getting nervous. I think I'm still gonna make it because uh, I don't have a bag to check. Um, I'm, I already have my boarding pass and everything so i think it'll be okay unless it's, it's like extremely busy and the lines to tsa is super long but i don't know but i'm optimistic i think i'm gonna make it but it's just weird like it's just crazy and um it's just a lot going on in the morning and i was just taking my time uh, i wouldn't recommend though because it's the anxiety is killing me but we're gonna make it now six minutes away um can you guys guess where I'm going? Type below, like before I get there and you guys actually know where I'm going, just guess where I'm going. It's somewhere in the US. Love interrupted by tragedy. Lost in the drought of nightfall. Okay, we are here. Finally, it's crazy how a short fly, like a two hour fly will take up my whole day that's so crazy let's do a little ootd airport outfit this is my coach tote bag and my little luggage very casual comfy this is a cotton shirt from h&m my you know um trousers we're trying not to be to travel in jogging in jogging pants or leggings you know we're trying to be a little a little more in the casual shape. I have my Steve Madden dad sandal duped. And yeah, the room is not bad. You guys know I'm a Hilton girl, so I always stay like at Hilton's. This one is like a Hilton garden, so it's kind of like a lower grade of the Hilton's. They have a stand-up shower, which is pretty good because I really want to do my self-care tomorrow and I feel like self-care is better. What the heck? Oh, it pulls. And I definitely feel like self-care is better in a shower because I'm gonna wash my hair and all that, so yeah. the salmon bowl um there's a restaurant downstairs i just ordered from there and i picked it up Ooh, so good and i'm watching friends my favorite show and just chilling for the night My eye patch is on and my mask. 
we're going to do self care. Um, so we are in Miami. This is not a turn up kind of trip. This is, I came to Miami to go to a dentist. I'm getting a procedure at a dentist um, office here in Miami. That's why I'm here. So I came for three nights and honestly, I just want to chill and relax. I've been working so much. So it's currently, what time is it? It's currently 9.56. And when I tell you, I woke up, because my body is so used to waking up early. So I woke up at like 5, um, 30, which is like 4.30 in the Midwest because I'm now on Eastern time. And that's the time I wake up every day to go to work. Uh, so I woke up early and I had to force myself back to sleep. So I slept again until like 8 o'clock, but I didn't get out of bed until 9 and it's almost 10 o'clock. So obviously I missed breakfast, which is, which is fine because I'm not, like I don't eat early breakfast like that. I'm gonna make some coffee. Um, they have the little Curix cups here. So I might just do it because I don't want to get out right now. I want to just, like, I just want to relax and chill and take my time. I don't even know if I'm gonna head to Miami Beach, to be honest. I might just uh, find a beach around here. I'm staying around the airport um, area. I'm in Miami and there's a nice outdoor pool. I might just do that. It's just gonna be a chill day. <clears throat> Tomorrow is when my dentist appointment is um, tomorrow morning. So I'm just gonna chill, get some work done. I'm gonna create some content, obviously, and I'm gonna edit. Today is Sunday the, today is Sunday the 22nd. My birthday is in three days actually. So me coming here to get my, uh, my, my teeth done is my birthday present to myself. So I'm pretty excited, but scared at the same time because I know it's gonna hurt. <laughs> I know it's gonna hurt because it's a lot of work to do there, and I'm a little nervous about the pain, but I'm excited to have a new smile for my birthday. I showed you guys a little tour. Is it the room is very spacious? I like it here, and the the lighting though, the sun. You guys are not even right in front of the window. I really like the lighting so I think I'm really gonna take advantage of this and create like a lot of content because the lighting is really good and I also brought this tiny light that I got from TikTok shop so it's good yeah. I'm gonna try to link this below if you're a content creator or if you just like taking pictures and selfie you need something like this and this was only like maybe ten dollars it was so inexpensive it's definitely worth it. You can clip it on your phone. You can clip it on your phone like this on the back camera to add the light if you like to take selfies and stuff. So yeah, girl, I don't know what else I need to tell you. I'm gonna go make some coffee. Also ended up unpacking last night um, I always unpack especially if you're spending three nights somewhere sometimes even when I'm only spending one night I unpack I just like to lay my things I'm obviously only here for three nights and um, I'm not planning on going out or anything maybe for dinner or something so I brought mostly the shoes that I brought the heels that I brought are probably for content maybe this one I will wear out if I go to dinner tonight and but these are really just for content that I brought them and I only brought one bag um, in addition to my tote bag that's over there and just a few things I brought like two dresses uh, a couple tops and that's the outfit I was wearing for the airport to the airport 
uh, yesterday and I brought the scarf um, I know I'm in Miami it's super hot it's actually hot back home too but I brought a cardigan because the doctor's office told me that it's really cold in there to try to wear a sweater or something warm so yeah this is my little closet set up I have my um, these are the things that you stand so from food last night. I showed you guys my food last night. It was really good by the way. It was like a salmon bowl. I wasn't able to eat all of it, so I put some in the fridge. And this is my Stanley cup. I always like travel with it. Not sure why my Gucci glasses are here. These are the glasses I was wearing yesterday. I actually brought three. <laughs> I brought three pairs of sunglasses. I brought the Gucci ones. This is the box for those. And then I got ouch, and then oh no, four glasses. These are like these are more like um, the blue light. These are for since I'm gonna be like working on the computer a lot. I brought my MacBook, my book. I'm gonna try to like um, uh, how do I say? It? I'm gonna try to also do a lot of planning for content for October. Actually, the other glasses are here. These are the Fendi ones. These were in my luggage. And I remember taking them out and putting them here. These are just the square, um, the square brown Fendi monogram. And yeah, and these ones are like the stylish ones. You guys haven't seen this. I just received this literally the day before yesterday from Amazon, y'all. Yeah these are a dupe this style is very on trend right now so i'm gonna try them on later for you guys but yeah i packed very light i only had a carry-on which i was proud of myself for that and i got my, i brought my vitamins also the black girl vitamins and i think magnesium as well um, hey
Hey guys, <laughs> I am just not coming back to my room, so it's been a long day, y'all. I created some content during the day and went to the pool, and then I had dinner at the hotel restaurant. They have a really nice restaurant actually here. The food from last night was good, so I wanted to eat there again now. <coughs> Now I'm just sitting on the bed. I am about to do some work. Oh, by the way, did I show you guys this light? I think I showed you guys this light yesterday. This is it right here. Because I didn't feel like turning on all the lights in here. So I just used that light. You guys see though, the quality is really good. And also, I know you guys saw earlier when I was getting ready. When I did a little, I did a little get ready with me. Um and i tried on these glasses but i'm gonna try them again for you guys remember i showed you guys yesterday and i told you i was gonna try them later these are so good y'all they look so good they look so chic expensive um trendy stylish um and these are definitely trending right now so from amazon i'll link them in the description box tomorrow um, i mean below uh, tomorrow is my dentist appointment i'll be there all day my appointment is at 10 but they already told me they told me wake up early eat some food because you're gonna be here all day and you won't be able to eat and i don't eat early usually early so i don't know maybe i'll force myself to eat before i go otherwise i guess i'll just be in a fasting state <laughs> all day but i'm excited especially like to fix this broken tooth right here and then just have like a white smile but i'm gonna get back to doing the work that i was doing right now um uh, on my computer i have to do some paperwork um on my computer and i will see you guys i'll take you guys with me tomorrow i'm gonna try to charge my small camera and take it uh, hopefully they will allow me to film the shoot a little bit here and there uh, just some clips so yeah i'll catch you guys tomorrow good night Back to the hotel guys, look what I got from the dentist's office. They gave me a little tiny bottle of champagne. Oh, so cute because they saw my ID that my birthday was in two days and I just grabbed this from um, from downstairs. So I'm about to open this baby, pop her and chill and watch friends. Literally, literally. Let's get into this new teeth, girl. Um, I'm just gonna go over it really quick but if you want a dedicated video or you want more information just DM me I don't get keep anything like I'm open I'll tell you everything you need to know but I found this place it's called wonder smile found them on TikTok and one thing about me when I want to do something I research it for weeks and months I watch countless videos <laughs> and reviews and before and after like for weeks for months uh, before I actually call them and I'm scheduled. I wanted to gift this um, to myself for my birthday as a birthday present to myself. So I had a care coordinator I was texting back and forth with. Um, everybody was really nice. They just opened up a new office. So they have two offices here in Miami now. And I was actually the first um, client at the new office yesterday. The doctor who did my teeth is a female dentist 
very sweet lady um everybody was really nice there everybody was very friendly there the place is clean y'all the place is clean it's giving luxury it's giving aesthetic it was it was nice uh and they kept like reassuring me it was a long process i think i was there i also i got a deep cleaning so which made it longer i think my appointment was at 10 and i think i was done at like four yeah that's a long process but they already told me that be ready to spend all day here so make sure you eat in the morning because you won't eat or drink for four to six hours when the procedure was done it was i'm not gonna lie it's very uncomfortable it doesn't hurt i did not get any uh, an local anesthesia or any numbing cream not none of that none of that even for the deep cleaning i didn't get anything they told me if it hurts let us know then we can numb but it was fine like it's just very uncomfortable like imagine your mouth being open for six hours that's crazy when we were done my lips were so dry i couldn't feel them like i, I didn't know how to talk they had to like massage my lips um but everybody was really nice they take before and after pictures of course if you don't want them to post you on their social media you don't sign the consent but i signed it so what you know if you want to use my before and after for good i don't mind so i got composite veneers yeah these are the ones that are not like permanent these are the ones that you have to change every five to seven years they are cheaper than the porcelain the porcelain are just too permanent for me like I, I i just don't want to risk it i feel like the porcelain are just very drastic y'all like something that permanent i don't know so i went with the um composite uh, once they are cheaper and two they're not permanent like you can take them off they didn't shave my teeth at all like i still have my regular teeth underneath um i got the deep cleaning so my mouth feels really fresh really clean if you have like cavities they want you to um, take care of them before but if not you can also just take care of them uh, later they told me that I can go to my regular dentist too like it's not gonna like it's not I can go to my regular dentist if I want like cavity or just like a regular, regular cleaning or I can come back to them every six months the dentist actually told me every six months but my coordinator told me like not try not to go like over four months so I don't know we'll just see if I can find um, if my dentist at home can do my cleanings i do it but if you know how like some dentists be tripping we're like oh you went over there if he's mad because i came to miami to get them done instead of him where well, i was gonna probably pay like six times more the price like that's fine i'll just get another ticket and come here for four months and and get them cleaned <laughs> but yeah my teeth are so white I get scared sometimes like I saw my reflection in the mirror I was like whoa <laughs> it's definitely gonna take some getting used to my speech too I, I don't know I just feel weird but they told me I, I already knew this because I did a lot of research and they told me that yeah you it takes a few days or a week to like get used to it I just feel like I have something in my mouth <laughs> when I'm talking and I just I don't know like yeah it's new but i totally love them you have to make sure everywhere you go either any type of procedure you're doing or even just like your regular checkup doctor's appointment you guys have to make sure you advocate for yourself um because i've seen some bad reviews on veneers not from this dentist dental office but from other like dental office and people complaining and i'm wondering like how do you get out of that chair without addressing what's going on so when she was done she gave me the mirror to look at them and yeah we had to fix at least three things you know like and they're gonna try to probably tell you no it's just new you're not used to it no can you make this straight like can you make this even can you so she had to actually fix because i had this two uh, t uh chipped teeth here probably my whole life and that was i think it was a challenge for her to try to fill them so i had to make she had to like refill them again to make them a little longer um don't feel bad i mean it's their job you're paying all that money you want to be satisfied you know like after looking at my before and after picture i was like wow i did not realize first how messed up my teeth were and how yellow my teeth were like just yeah yeah next time i go for my cleaning if there are other things to like um trick because after they settle in and i get used to it when i go for my cleaning they also polish them and they can also touch them up if you want to then if there are other things i want 
them to fix i'll have them fix it then but make sure you advocate for yourself i know this is a nurse in me because i'm a nurse like i'm used to advocating for my patients and for myself when i go to the doctor like when i go to the doctor i tell them what tests i want to be done <laughs> like i tell them what labs i want drawn but that's just because i'm a nurse but make sure you advocate for yourselves but yeah if you want more information hit me up on instagram on dm on tiktok or whatever and i'll give you more info okay I gotta go.